Hi guys. So today I'm doing a pre-mark haul. Over the weekend, me and my boyfriend went to dairy shopping and we went on to Primark and this happened. So the first thing I got, I'm just gonna get this out of the way because I've actually, I actually wore this yesterday. So this is just a plain khaki green hoodie and it's quite long, so this, which I actually quite like hoodies being quite long. And it has a writing on the front of it and it says, bad habits. Um, I actually love like the writing font on clothing like this. Um, I don't actually know why. So that was the first thing I got. And I think this is only eight pounds, I think. And then the next thing I got was a pair of black skinny jeans. These are in a size 12. These were eight pounds as well. And these jeans are Primark, like they're, they're not the best quality. Um, I, go th I go through quite a lot of these. Well, I'm a hairdresser, so these are just easy to just fling on you in the morning and you're good to go because you're probably only gonna end up getting splashed with bleach or color of some sort. So the next thing I got was an underwear set. And um, this is actually one of those Maximize Your Assets bras, which I didn't actually realize that until I got it because I do not want to maximize my assets. I hate my chest as it is. I wish I had nothing, to be honest. Um, but I just thought this was quite cute and it is really quite padded. And it's, I'm a 34C if anyone gives a shit. And I just got the pants to match this. So I found these fan t-shirts, <laughs> now these are everywhere at the minute and you either love it or you hate it. So the first fan t-shirt I got was a Guns N' Roses. Um, I actually really really like Guns N' Roses so I thought that was just cool and that's just the wee slogan at the front and then at the back it's as if it has all their like tour dates and whatnot. And then I actually quite surprised myself whenever I picked this next one up. It is a, oh wait, I can't remember how much that was. It's an Iron Maiden t-shirt. And it, like, it hasn't really got the prettiest picture at the front, but it has these like, I know these t-shirts are very in at the minute that has the, like the rips in it. So yeah, I just picked that one up. I'd probably just wear that to work or something. Um, nothing special and it's just plain at the back. And the next thing I picked up was, this sweet top. This is actually really heavy for just a wee flimsy top. This is just a wee like off the shoulder kind of top and has quite loose sleeves and it just has a wee bow tie at the ends of the arms. Um, it kind of looks like a wee bit of a crop top but it's one of those tops that has the overlay if you know what I mean. Um, so I just thought that would be quite cute to just wear around the summertime and just pull over um, high waisted jeans or a pair of blue jeans whatever and away you go. So I was in Manchester um, January, February, can't remember when it was, and I was in the Primark in Manchester and I had came across these lipsticks and like I love a good nude lipstick, but that is my colour. And I just picked up two of them, I was like, oh, these are probably absolute garbage. I went back and I bought four. I wish I had bought 14 or 40 to be quite honest with you. This is, these are the best matte lipsticks I have used. And they are 150. Are they 150? Yeah, 150. And it doesn't even have a colour. That is just the colour of it there. Um, <laughs> these, I actually, I have it on at the minute. Um, I just have a MAC lip liner outline on my lips as well. Um, but they're just, I can't describe it, they're just so creamy and long lasting as well. So that's it, it's washed there and like it is, it is really creamy, so it is, they are amazing, absolutely amazing. And then the next thing I picked up was two lip liners, these are in the shade Toffee and I opened one just so I could do a wee swatch of it. Um, so, and these are quite good as well. They're quite pigmented, so they are. Um, and again, they're just brown nude colours because obviously I like my nudes. And uh, the next thing I got was one of these. Just I love them. I think they are so cool to put on with high-waisted jeans, a t-shirt tucked in, or 
I don't know, just something like that. Although, like, I have to, that doesn't say it was one of them. It was only four pounds. Although, there was no small, like, my, I always wear high waisted jeans, so my jeans always come up to about here or whatever. I don't know how this is gonna work. I might actually have to take that back, so. But, yeah, that's not gonna fit around my waist to where I pull my trousers up to. And the next thing I got was something pink. Um, I don't know why I bought this, to be honest. I literally just loved the colour of it and like the fabric is so soft. I literally, I just thought I could just throw this on, chuck this on with a pair of denim jeans, blue denim jeans, and it's for a casual lounge day. And while I was actually looking through the cosmetics line and like all the hair stuff, um, I noticed they came out with like body sprays, like perfumes and like body scents and body mists and stuff. And I noticed this. Now I am a sucker for really really cute packaging, so like, I just lifted this and I didn't even read what it was. Um, so whenever I got home I read it and it was a shimmering body spray, a mermaid shimmering body spray. Um, and it smells so disgustingly sweet. It smells like those wee shitty perfumes that you used to get whenever you were younger. Yeah, I don't think I'll be using this. I'm just gonna see if it works. Because like it is, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but it is really quite shimmery. Uh. No, there's more glitter in my hands. Whatever. Last thing I had picked up at the cosmetic area was this uh, um, and what this is it is a wee lip scrub um yeah oh god I'm not gonna get into this on my nails <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see I say that's probably just gonna be like the one you get out of Lush cheaper obviously. Yeah. So it says here that it has vitamin E and almond oil, so that's probably the almond oil I'm smelling. Um, it doesn't smell that pleasant to be honest. But yeah, I'll probably just give that a go, I'll probably just keep that near my vanity. So this next t-shirt I thought was so cute, um, like I love like all the pastel pink at the moment. Um, I suppose this isn't really pastel pink, it's really 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 faded pastel pink and this is just a simple plain t-shirt with a wee slogan here. And I just thought it would be quite cute and it has this detail on at the back, San Diego thing and a big rose. But, so, whatever. I just thought this would be quite cute with, again, a pair of high waisted jeans. I love high waisted jeans and tucked in t-shirts. That is just my style. It's actually quite long, so it is. I feel like I'm going to be repeating myself. The next t-shirt I got <laughs> is, like I walked past this t-shirt about three or four times and I was like, I don't really like that, but I do like it because I like the sleeves, because the sleeves are like this, what are they, holographic? Mermaid holographic? I don't know. But again, I got this t-shirt and it was six pounds. Um, and it's actually quite a cropped t-shirt, so I could wear this with my high-waisted jeans! <laughs> um, I just thought this would be cute to just pull on with a pair of jeans in the summertime and a pair of like these slides or sandals and just go to walk along the prom or go get ice cream or whatever. So yeah, and I, I didn't even read what it says at the front of it. Motorcycle, blah blah blah. Hopefully there's more people that do that out there to just pick up something and don't read it. Like this one. Fun enough, I had the same problem with this t-shirt as I did on that last one. Um, I walked, there was two different types of these t-shirts and these are the t-shirts that have the mesh knitting at the bottom. I thought this was really cute, um, but the only problem I had was I didn't like the front of it. Um, I, don't even, I didn't even read it. Okay, whatever. Um, 
but yeah as I say they had this one and another one the other one was like a grey colour so I I love black so I just thought I would get this one instead I think it's actually quite long I would actually prefer it to be quite to be like the actual t-shirt material to be shorter and this to come up more um but we'll see whenever I try it on and then I got this other t-shirt <laughs> I swear I love my t-shirts and high waisted jeans. What is life? <sighs> so again, like I actually think this as soon as I walked through the door I was like, I will come back for you. Um and again it's one of these t-shirts that it is quite ripped the whole way around it, I think, at the bottom. Yeah. And it just has a slogan on the front of it and it says Los Angeles, but the Angeles is upside down and again with this writing font I love it I love it I just think it's just so like it is really in at the moment but I just love it I love anything gangster-ish hip-hop-ish anyway, the last thing I got was a pair of shoes <sighs> oh I thought I was going to sneeze there but I didn't actually see anything apart from these space shoes um, these are really not me at all. I am a Snickers girl as well. Um, I, I just, I just don't know what my style is. To be honest, like I'm just not very. I'm a girly girl, but I don't dress like a girly girl. Um, but yeah, I just thought these were so cute, and I love the detail that is around the heel of these shoes. It's just a wee gold plate, and um, anything that's black and gold, but sold to me. Um, I just thought these, these would just be so cute. I better turn them this way actually, you can see them better. Um, just in the summertime to pull on. Um, and I think they were they were £14. So guys, that is everything I got in my Primark haul. I hope you enjoyed it. This was my first haul. Um, hopefully plenty more to come. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!